Greetings friends and welcome to my channel. I am back after several days of not recording the new episode of Gigafactory. Sadly, uh, my time schedule is quite full. However, I was able again to do some things around the base. Uh, I have a new things in my armor, like those bigger batteries and I place a lot of lasers around the base. Sadly, biters are still very, very annoying and lasers are a little bit... Mm, little bit better defense than the normal guns, however, they are still make some damage and also in the last episode i show you that uh, transport train supply manager started doing some weird things and especially to freeze my game i was able to figure out that error and remove it however i still receiving a lot of those error messages as you can see and yeah, it was, uh, uh, these messages are quite annoying, especially with the sound. Lucky for me, I was able to turn off that message sound. So yeah, I will play with that error because I didn't see any problems in base so far. And if we found some errors, we will deal with them accordingly. Oh, you are idiot rain. Move along. Maybe those causing something like that? I don't know. Maybe we just have too much drains. However, for today's episode, I choose to build some uranium processing. So let's do it. First, we need to move. Oh, that's a huge. Oh, yeah, they, these are all data. Okay, they are no longer there, those biters. Uh, I need first to start moving all that uranium into the terrains. Oh, for that we need some uranium supply train stop which are actually already set up okay these two great so let me first assign some trains to the uranium and damn it and then we will find the place to build the cargo and Supply station, circus condition. You can go, give me that. Oh, 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 my bad. We need different train station. And the first, condi in the first condition, right? So, full cargo and then supply station. Where is that? Over here with circus condition. Here we go. The first range should be right here. I will borrow that those conditions. Set them to this one. And release you into the wildness. Okay, we have two trains with uranium. Now we need to find and proper place and before we do that i actually need some see the annoying sound of the biters it's still beeping where are they attacking now over there okay first thing first we need a lot of uh centrifuges for doing that recipe and these will need several things okay i need 
red circuits and concrete also steel and iron gears so the proper place could be somewhere like here maybe if i found oh actually we have gears right there but uh, now I need to find a way how to fill both uh, both assemblers. This one there. Uh huh. Gears. So gears. There, then gears over here, then maybe gears there. Oh, that's bad. Uh, okay, with one piece or oh, two pieces of belts, something like that. I know it's it's a horrible way to do it, but it will work now. This one and this one underground. Uh, place those. Thank you. And if you just. Here we go. Then steel. And. that some of that and the red circuits red circuits actually can be bring from this side under here and we can split that belt okay. something like that here we go red circuits and then one of those and the box for centrifuges yeah this will take uh, some time to produce how many red circuits they actually 100 and 100 complete. oh that's expensive however We can make maybe a few of those in our inventory just for uh, the first usage uh, in our belt to uh, design that belt. So I will make a few of those in my inventory. Where is that? Steel, steel, red circuits. And turn off the robot because they will otherwise use all my concrete and gears. Gears over here. Okay, it will be better to take those gears from the box. Uh, four. And maybe a few more more and I'm out of red circuits mm, give me all those mm, and gears more gears gears two more it's actually faster to do this in our inventory than uh, wait for assembling machine but like that many should be enough right now why well, i have uh, six bricks in my inventory who knows uh, and what else deal uh, let's make two more and that's it i think deal back these red circuits into there and that should be enough we have 15 of those which is 
actually not so bad and i think we will build the first production of shiny uh, those rocks uh over here yeah so mm. what was that did i saw request for mm. Mm, sulfur somewhere over here and the first place to build uh centrifuges will be here uh, removing all those all those and those this needs to be moved and i need to turn on my robots first there we go let's remove those cliffs first oh thank you robots i need those oh, we have a lot of cliffs over there huh ah, maybe we don't have even enough oh we had okay oh now we can start uh design this production so we will place the uranium ore from top and i don't need that oh i need those so to use a lot of these we will actually need to measure how far we can place them and i think this is like three and three so six one right there and one more to the right we need uh, the place or yeah we will use this to uranium processing awesome <sighs> okay I think we can output on that belt and feed from this belt now uh two of those will produce like nothing but they will use 1.6 so we need to stop at 15. Fifteen of those in a row, which I actually not fifteen, uh, fifteen from this belt because I want to place another row after that. Now we should be at eight point three, so like that many to finish. Oh, it's long enough, I would say. Come on. Do we have enough? Not enough. Still missing three of those. Okay, never mind. Yeah, it's they it using now twelve point five of uranium ore. And I will run quickly into the base to get those which was made between I will need some ten okay then we'll do us right now okay robots finish that build please here we go no 15 uranium or perfect number there we go and with that we will copy and flip uh, uh oh we cannot flip uh, or can i 
maybe I'm just uh, no 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 we need to input from that side which is not possible like that so I will place the second line of centrifuges manually or actually okay oh that's so awesome to be faster when I'm moving place there okay and the output again from that side with belt heading down and uh, maybe with overpull over there sure there that one okay nice Yeah, it's the same all over again. So, so we have output, we have input. However, we don't have enough. But that's fine. Now, uh, I just measure how many rows we can squeeze. That many. But if I repeat this pattern, I can use the share belt from here to there. And this. Oh, I goof up. This is only outputting, this is outputting on both sides. So you should be there, there, because you are input side. Okay. That should be. And then, now that everything makes a little bit more sense. Because we can take this one. Place it over there. Place it over there. Place it over there. Without that. And that. And all those. Not the trouble part, however. Like, ooh, okay. From here to there. And sorry, robots. I need to center the whole build. I know you hate me. You need to understand my motivation. Uh, to the left or to the right? To left. Okay, here we go. With that, we should have the uranium processing actually done. Now we need to bring the uranium and lots of those uh, centrifuges. But before we do that, I need to deal with those with those four belts, which are actually output. So one belt. That belt, that belt. We need to do something with all four belts over here. And the people who know how Factory works already know what I'm trying to do. So. Uh, 
Yeah, I will use just those two. We need shiny rocks on the right. Oh, thank you, to save. And on the left. Like that. Then. Take from that side to this side. Join with that one. Actually, we can bring that well down there directly. And I will do one output station over here. Train station or train stop or whatever that is. And a little bit change how it's working. Because in this special case. I want to place shiny rocks into the first wagon and the other into those three ones. I hope it will work. So there. And the same I will apply for those. There and there. Then maybe this one should be absolutely the same setup. I will move with that uh, one tile further. Absolutely fine to do it like that. And now I need. Where is it? Uh. I need balancer from two lanes to three lanes. Something like that. Ah, ah. Now you should go there. And then a little bit. Yeah. Space over here. You know. I'm fine with that, with that, and then take you, do the cycle from here to there, and put you there. Here we go. This station, however, will be a little bit special because it will have two uh, signs, two icons. And I think we will have only one of those, so it's fine. Now, with all that, we are prepared to take uh, those shiny and dull rocks and deal with them. But before we can do that, we need to feed four of those. not sure if this is correct attitude for that or correct approach because I would rather have like balancer over there or output only this time I can found enough place. So we need one, two, and third one. Yeah, the place. Ooh. I actually need it over there. So the far one will be there. The second farthest one far belt will be here and I think I can squeeze the third one like from here to there and from here to there over here oh you can go there you can go there you will damn it stupid sound of 
biters attacking my base. I really hate that sound. And you will go there. Here we go. We have even balance input. Perfect. Now. Ooh, I'm missing that thing. Let's call our train. Let's rename this. Oh. Uranium processing. Requesting uranium. Or. Okay. Hopefully I wrote it correctly. Now. Why my robots. Oh, there we go. Set you to that. That. And I forgot one important thing. Out into this schedule. That thing. That supply train station over here. Bam. And the train is on its way. Okay. So. You need to be red one. These I think can stay to be green one, and definitely those can stay uh, blue one on both sides. Okay, now what I'm missing? I have enough. Oh, I'm missing those green inserters. Uh, no, I don't. Here we go, uranium. Some of those actually start to work. Okay. Let me grab more of those centrifuges. Hopefully, there should be at least stock right now. It's take us some time. No, 19. Why 19? Because the speed of that yeah okay can I I cannot from here to there uh, that's better well this could be even better Yeah. Okay, we have three inserters. Uh, damn it. Actually. About I can move this one tile above and place those and those back, <gasps> which allows me quite easily bring those over there and these into this one. There we go, that's better. Or maybe even like that. Ooh, that's much, much faster. I don't realize we can use loaders. I put two of those. Here we go. This producing a little bit faster. And let me check the annoying sound. Yeah, that was a big fight. We lost all those. Where else? Uh, he was attacked. I don't see anything, but uh, yeah, somewhere there, it's a quite huge village full of very angry biters. And we need to deal with them very, very soon. right now I really want first to finish this oh we have shiny rocks already 
two of those um, and we lost all those awesome how many we will produce four each second which is 1.5 Eight per minute. So now it's time to do another of those blocks uh, and build some cover exports, has, which will allow us to use those uh, nice shiny rocks or some, uh, let's say, energy transfer. And maybe send some. Actually, in the vanilla factor, we cannot use nuclear ammunition against biters, but I can make maybe not right now, but in the future. I already have explosive rockets, so we are one step back from nuclear ammunition. Give me that. Ooh, that's a lot of rockets. Maybe too much rockets, and that's a lot of. Uh, that but we will need those do i have lasers i need some lasers to re-establish the turn of my robots re-establish the defense parameter down there okay we have enough lasers uh, but we are definitely missing some rain tracks I hope I have enough in my train. Okay, and I forget those nice uh, archers to rid of all those cliffs. Damn it. Okay, now I can turn off my robots. Turn on and actually was the opposite button right now. Give me more those and give me those scrap. Uh, I cannot speak. Cliff charges. Those. Uh, let's refill a little bit our inventory. And why I have a yellow belts or those okay uh, maybe a few of those will help now right here uh, robots can you please remove that Thank you. Now, first thing first, I think we need to place. Oh, radar is over there, so why not to place another one? But first, few lasers. Yeah, I see. I don't have a space in my inventory. What surprise when I when I left that whole forest to be cut down. Okay, more lasers over here. I just putting four around that uh, power pole and two around each of those between. I think with some with some of those guns it should be more than enough the lasers just to defend the perimeter 
over here because I know there are quite large group of biters hungry really hungry on my equipment especially those radars they love radars chew on my radars I really hate when they are doing that laser 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 and we are missing lasers over here really laser there and that was too far there and maybe a few over here here we go uh, I rather place that one last radar down here just to be sure that I can see a really far I found the correct spot, let's say, over here. Whatever. Fine. Now, another attack. Yeah, these behemoths have some durability against the lasers and the guns. Okay. So, first thing first. Request station. Without that. And we know the first lagoon will be full of shiny rocks and we need to do something with that. Now, let's design. Where is that box full of... I placed it somewhere over here, right? I have over here. Those. So we will bring, and this will be quite mm. We will have output We will have input to make the coworks process to work uh, in reality uh, oh I lose all those uh, never mind right now I don't need more than one so, let's say you maybe need Output and input. It's a, a really a long time when I was building the coverx process. Uh, anyway, uh, I am a little bit too high, I would say. Was the last one? and it was taken by robots eh, whatever. so mm, maybe I should do something like that because we will have a lot of those I don't have long hair long hair long hand filter inserters no i don't hmm. one belt this or i do several of those okay that's maybe better so if i look at that Bear with me. I will reverse that one. 
over here. So we will put the mix of both on that boat. Shut up. So I will. Fighters. There we go. And the good question is, do I need anything else than the shiny and dull rocks? No. So. There's not much place over up to there. Uh, I need the whole row of uh, those centrifuges to calculate how much we can actually place over there. We have 23 and we are missing what? Red circuits? And where is the red circuit strain? Do we have some? We have. Okay. So something is fishy in that system. Because after I update it will send the red circuits on the way if I don't do that like over here it will not send the red circuits I see some red circuits there not much few of those there and I will right now suck all those still not enough but Should be more than enough for one row of two. Okay, robot, please place all those. Thank you. Now let's switch to the cover export sauce. Let's change all the recipes. Okay, so input is 12 and 1.5. That's fine, I would say. Now. Of course, we should build this with the... And calculate the space for... Beacons, right? Oh, could make one beacon. Because this production will be really, really, uh, let's say, demanding of the speed to produce decent amount. So, mm, these. And the red circuits. Red circuits over there. No batteries. <sighs> okay, three beacons for so far will be good. At least one. So, wait, beacon over there. Okay to speed up everything so i think the long of this actually we can up to more and with that i think we are fine we are using half of the belt let's say yeah it's a 15 together okay uh, Ah. Now. On the end. Uh, 
now I did. Uh, I need to separate the shiny and the normal ones because shiny rocks will go on one side and the dull rocks will go on the other side. Okay, like that. We still need to calculate the space for the beacon, which is perfect. And now, do this a little bit shorter. Save some space. You know, we will output. Won't have incentives. Output. I can place another belt. Okay. Now I'm confused. And I will need to think more about this belt. So I think it's time and the episode uh, I definitely need to wait until more those uh, centrifuges will be made in our mall and after that we can build proper stuff however my tops are going See what I am doing? That's nonsense. I want to remove all those. Because I'm just thinking about... It should be over there, I see. Okay. This thing on the end should be down over that belt no over here which will separate the output and that will bring back everything and like that and then now on this belt uh, i will place the normal and shiny rocks right and if I just want to, I just don't want to take... Oh, we did it. We used somehow the full belt uh, behavior. Because I will take the output and I will put it back over here. How I will maybe we need to take from both belts and oh I see so uh, if you take this one said you that uh, not the output priority it's to the right like there you can take the output from this side. Uh, elsewhere after everything it's filled with the shiny rocks but what we need to we need to keep okay we need to keep the rocks on the both sides of the belt properly okay so this will definitely mean 
that it needs to go there. Uh, on the top, we need to place on the one side shiny rocks on the second side dull rocks uh, which will need a little bit more place i see something like that and i think we will use uh, the underground between so let's say we will put China rocks on the top and dollar rocks from the side. It will go through all that. Mm. We can output, 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 output from the, on that side. And on the end, we definitely need to different again. Uh, think like that. Uh, you will go there. On the belt, which will go there. And over here. on that side that part of the belt okay something like that and over here I will somehow need to put shiny rocks I see we have a not enough space I need more space up there which will allow us Output on the back and also there could be that you know I will need to think about it. I think I am close to, to, to the ideal version of it, but still so far. Uh, so with the final look on our base, uh, on my base, if there are every, uh, if there is uh, everything fine, I think it's time to end today episode. I will figure it out how to do it properly, and in the next episode we will just put it uh, into use. Uh, I need a lot of those. And we will need the train. Okay. With all that, I think it's time to end. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next episode when we hopefully uh, start the cover process and build maybe our first nuclear power plant. Bye.